It's all part of the cycle of life. You're born, you live, you die. Okay, Peter, you don't have to be scared. What are you doing here? It's your day off. I came to give Peter his presents. You run along to your room and I'll be up in a minute to tell you a special Christmas story, okay? Yeah, that's it. Out of my sight, you whiny little brat. Don't you dare speak to your son like that. Excuse me. Are you forgetting who pays your wages? He deserves a father who treats him with love. And respect, especially after everything he's been through. Everything he's been through? My wife is gone. And so is his mother. You know, he still asks for her every day. Of course you don't. You never spend any quality time with him. I'll spend some time with him right now. Giving him a good idea for his behaviour this morning. No, you don't. You... Oh, my wife. Find Maxine and Bobby. Right, son, let's fasten your seatbelt. No! Oh, come on, son, don't you want to help me sort things out with Mitzi? She doesn't even want to be with you. Well, just do it, all right? Carl? Hello? What? Carl! Stop bringing back! We'll have to walk to the airport and then we get there in that pile of junk. Now, where the hell are we? Oi, come here! Bobby, come back! <laughs> Oi! Any chance of any service when you finish gossiping? <laughs> You know, someone told me today what a nasty piece of work you are, and by the way you've just spoken to me, looks like they were right. Well, you can tell her from me that uh, I've only just got started. That lot won't know what's hitting when I've finished. Anyway, you getting that drink or what? Of course. Where are you going? As far away from you as I can. I'm so glad that I am nothing like you. Because you are poison and I hate you. Dad? Dad, Dad free. He's gone. <laughs> you. You. Oh, that's it. Uh, that's get enough. Off me, let that's me enough. Him. I wanted to tell you. When? Well, an hour moon? Well, we're going to crack open the champagne and you're going to drop the bombshell. By the way, Mercedes, I slept with your cousin. He did what? I made a mistake and it meant absolutely nothing. Here you are. You keep hold of that. Give it a little snuggle. <laughs> Nana Breeder's here now. Breeder, stop. You must think I'm so stupid. Everything you said, you were just paying lip service. So I'd let you go. You haven't changed. I have. I have. It was, it was just took me uh, a little while to see the whole picture, you know, the, the opportunity you were giving me. You're lying. If I let you go, you're going to go straight to the police and tell them about the others. I won't. Please. Those beasts got what they deserved. They weren't men. They certainly weren't fathers. I haven't been as good a father to Daniel as I was to Lisa and Zach. If you let me, I'll fix that. Breeder, please, please, I swear I won't tell another soul about what happened here. I just, I just want to be with my kids again. I don't believe you. 